So here I am again with a game with my nephew. And this is going to be from his viewpoint because he's going to be the gunner and I'm going to be the driver. So I think it would be more interesting to, to watch the gunner than, than the driver because all of it's just, it's just going to be, uh, you've assisted this guy, you've done that, but I'm, I'm actually playing in a support role of this game. Which is, which is fine, you know. I, I trust my nephew enough to, to kill everybody in the, in the match. And we're just going to drive on a Warthog. The, um, probably would have been easier if we had a Goss Warthog, but I, don't, I can't remember. I don't think that, that there were any Goss Warthogs in the original playlists of uh, Halo Reach. I don't think you, you got any until later, later down the line. Anyway... He's going to do a good job at uh, gunning, and I'm going to do a good job at uh, driving, so... Typical, typical, um... MO that I had, you know, if, if I'm in an objective game, if I'm just killing everybody, then they, they can't do the objective. Unfortunately, in... What, what was this game? Uh, territories, this game type, you, you can't really stop them on the map from seizing the one closest to their base because you start so far away that by the time you get over there they've already captured it so they're always guaranteed to at least get a point but uh, we're gonna do our best to, to suppress them here while fighting our teammates as well because the the drivers of the revenants are just uh, completely insane and try to drive right through us at times Yeah, apparently the Warthog does have brakes on it, but where we're going, we don't need brakes. I don't know where he was throwing that grenade. It just whiffed and, and went uh, way into wherever. Like he should have, he should have thrown it the the bottom of us anyway, and he just air mailed it to to wherever. So we're, we're just, and I'm going to roll the Warthog here, but end up on the wheels because I'm, I'm that good of a driver. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to roll it, especially when you're, you're up in their, their faces. Uh, did somebody have a grenade launcher there? I probably would have helped them out if they spawned with a grenade launcher, but one of the other things here is, uh, I really liked this game. I, I thought it was like the, the best Halo game that was ever made. And after that, they, they just kind of screwed it up, but they, they took Evade and Armor Lock out of playlist because players just were not smart enough to figure out that you don't just rush into each other. And I never understood why why there was so much belly aching about this, but, you know, in, in past Halo games, you could just run people over, but here I'm, like, just going to avoid trying to run into people as much as possible because you can just see there's spam and armor lock over here right now because they know we've got we've got a bunch of vehicle control right here and if you if you run into them with um where they have armor lock it's it's an instant ko for you good game so you gotta avoid that urge to just try to try to splatter them unless you can sneak up on them and they they're none the wiser that's that's the good opportunity to just uh run over somebody but I don't think I, I splatter a single person in this match because it's it's too risky to, to even try it. Especially in a game type like this with a wide open field that, you know, they're expecting you to have vehicles and, and they're just going to pull out armor lock to, to keep themselves alive. Unfortunately, this Warthog is going to get our teammates and they're going to go down. Oh no, it looks like that one guy uh, survived and, and was able to drive off into the sunset. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna regroup here and try to try to get her shields back up because it's a lot easier to pick off the gunner than it is the driver. And uh, we blow up this uh, warthog here because it's on fire. Might as well spawn a new one. But yeah, we're doing a we're doing a pretty good job of just suppressing them right now. And we're gonna we're gonna run into to like all of them here. Yeah, poor Cletus the Clam there. I think my, my nephew just guns him down a lot. Yeah, another another instance of not wanting to... Not a good idea to try to splatter them. His uh, armor lock. More armor lock. 
Might as well just uh, go after the next guy, stop him from getting a sniper rifle, then get him after his armor lock wears off. Or he runs out of charge as it is. Like, I, don't, I, I just never understood why people had to, to complain about armor lock that much. It, it wasn't that big of a deal. You just don't assault rifle rush people and try to punch them and you'll live. Like, the, the really only good thing for armor lock that I could think of right now was just running right into a vehicle and, and, and taking them out. Um, other than that, you know, even my my friend Featherhoof, he was able to figure this out after like one private match. We got together one day when we were doing our D&D stuff and like uh, during that uh, we, we did like a four player match on, on Halo and I was using Arbor Lock in that way. Um, it, it was on a map that did not have vehicles. I don't, I don't remember what the map's called, but you know. When you get out of armor lock, it doesn't EMP that will knock down their shields, and then you can just punch them, which is... You, you, you gotta figure that out at some point, but, but he was able to figure that out after one match, you know. I, I heard him in the middle of the match as, as my friend was charging him, because I had done it a couple times. Uh, you know, armor lock into EMP and punch, and it's, it's just an instant KO. But he was like, no, no, don't do it, he's gonna... But, but yeah, it's like, after one match... And, and and the general population of Halo Reach just could not figure this out. It's uh it's kind of amazing. So the the dev response was to just take armor lock out of the playlist, and that made the game less fun.